Oh, the irony that this guy carries. He's not even Chrome. Yo, what's up YouTube world? I animate them, I review them, Eric Tron here, and now it's time for another new Eric Tron review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Titans Return Deluxe Class Chrome Dome with Autobot Stylor, which is his proper name for his headmaster. Alright, so first and foremost, as always, we will take a look at the packaging. You can see that's his little box art of him being decapitated. There's his alt mode. Titans Return. Autobot Stylor. Transformers have magic going down, yeah. Transformers. And then you got the Transformers Generations. Ages 8 and up, Hasbro. You can see the whole cycle of his transformations. You can see the headmasters are compatible with each figure. You can buy these guys. If there's anything you want to read right here that's important to you, you can, here you go, just take a look at that. Yeah, warning stuff. There's his bio. You done reading it? Good, because it's gone. Okay. And we go to the bottom side. I don't know if this is important to you, but if so, here you go. Transformers Authentic. It is not a GoBot, so. That is good. All right, so we are done with the packaging. All right, and we will move the little chrome dome over here. Little chrome dome here also comes with his collector's card, much like the other figures. So this is same as a box art, Titans Return, Chrome Dome, Hasbro. Here's the stats if you want to read all that. And there you go. All right, so let's take a look at Chrome Dome himself. Um, here is his car mode, and he looks pretty cool. Pretty much close to how he was in the G1 cartoon and his actual toy. Um, it looks like from this line, they're not going by the usual, oh, let's base um, the characters off of how they look in the IDW comics. No, this doesn't seem to be the case, it's going they're pretty much taking inspiration from the G1 toy. You see he has very nice brown and red and light brown paint. Very cool, he's got these smoky wheels. He does roll very nicely, so that's pretty cool. I love Transformers that roll very, very well. I go vroom vroom with my toys. It helps me a lot in stop motions. All right, and these are his weapons up at the top. You can see he has two slots right there, and two pegs right there, and then they just peg in right there. It's the top of the color. Very cool. Nice and shiny. And at the bottom, not a lot of robot kibble, and I really do like that. That's pretty cool. Not much seems to be exposed. Alright, and if we open this up, we have little Stylor driving Chrome Dome. He just sits right in there. And uh, he has one of those guns where it will it will allow your little headmaster transformers to sit in there. So when Chrome Dome is driving, you be like, Stylor, I need you to get up on the top guns and shoot. You can put little Stylor here on his top gun right there. And you can go pew pew as he is driving. He's got a port right there and a port right there. So you can if you want to, you can put you know, Chrome Dome's guns right here, and he can 
go vroom vroom and pew pew side swipe like and just like that he's got these little car intakes right at the side pretty cool very nice and the look inside the cockpit this is what it looks like there's a little chair no steering wheel or anything but still pretty cool all right so that's about it for chrome dome in alt mode and we'll take a look at little um Star lord here i almost call him star lord here's Star lord not that much paint going on he's got a a red head with no paint for the eyes or anything all red you know he has a brown torso and there you have chrome dome's face on the back these headmasters they also have the same articulation as the other headmasters you have a ball jointed head so it can go full 360 and all that and you can tilt up and down a little bit and side to side the arms are on ball joints they can go they can go up and down and that's pretty much it and a little bit a slight bit in and out movement just like that and you got a hinge joint at the leg so you can go in a little seating position up the knees can bend back this far at 90 degrees and it can bend up 90 degrees all right and for size comparison Here we have him next to a courier, a Micronaut. So he is taller than a Micronaut from the Revolution box set. And here he is with Creo Optimus Prime. He is shorter than a Lego figure. And here he is next to Masterpiece Spike with Wiki. He is shorter than Spike with Wiki. All right, and that'll be the same size comparison for all of the other Titan Masters or Headmasters. Each of them are the same size as this. Okay. All right, so for size comparison with Chrome Dome, here we have them next to Voyager Starscream. Here we have them next to another Headmaster figure. From the Titans Return line, here we have him next to Hybra. And last but not least, here we have him next to Combiner Wars Ironhide. Alright, so now we go on to the Transformation. Alright. Now, for the transformation, you are going to notice it does have the same engineering as some of the Combiner War car figures. I never really owned any other Combiner War cars except for the Ironhide mold and, um, and Hound and Dragstrip, but not one of these. But I think uh, the engineering does take from, I believe, uh, Dead End, I think. Yeah, I think. So you will kind of notice some similarities in the transformation. All right. Now to transform highbrow, first what you want to do is lift this back and if you have Stylor in the car, take him out because you don't need him. All right. And then you want to bring out the arms just like that on his hinge and the ball joint. Then you want to open the legs up at the bottom you want to swing the bottom parts of the legs down, flip up the feet on each side, and you want to close this up again, and then split this apart just like so. Then you want to do a, a 180 at the waist, and then flip this down, that will become the chest, and then you want to bring out the hands. And last but not least, well, you want to take this down, and there you have Chrome Dome, but he doesn't have a head, so you must 
transform Styler here, much like all the other headmasters. He transforms the same. Like fold the arms down, fold the legs up, and then head on. There you have Chrome Dome in his robot mode. All right. So Chrome Dome, he has a very nice robot mode. Very decent. Pretty cool. Although he is he is a be a much beefier Chrome Dome that we've had, and that's pretty cool. Whereas in the comics he was all scrawny and skinny like this one he is like it looks like he just went to the gym bruh all right so look all around him not bad you have these bits hanging off him but eh, it doesn't bother me all that much the legs they do feel hollow but at least they don't they're not all exposed hollow like like most of the other figures the arms you can see there's some spaces in them, but that's because the hands flip out. You can see he has a very, very nicely detailed chest in the torso area. Very, very nice. Really like the colors on this guy. If I have to say, I have, I'd actually put this second after um, Autobot Hardhead. So yeah, that's chrome domes robot mode looking pretty cool so for articulation his head you know 360 because of the head articulation you have on the headmaster the arms are on a ball joint at the shoulder so it can go 360 in and out all that stuff bicep swivel and then you got a hinge joint at the elbow so you get 90 degree rotation and then as for the hands because of transformation they go in and out and for the legs they're on a ball joint so they can go back that far and you can go forward that far and you do the splits and then you also have a swivel at the thigh and then you have a knee joint that goes a slight a little over 90 degrees and then you got some toe tapping movement at the feet and then you got a waist swivel. So, pretty good articulation for this guy. Alright. So now, for size comparisons. For size comparisons, here we have him next to Legends Class Wingspan, Combiner Wars Iron Hide, Titans Return Highbrow, Power of the Primes Voyager Starscream, Titans Return Leader Class Overlord, and Eric Tron. Overall, Chrome Dome is a very nice figure. He's well, he's well sculpted. He has very decent articulation, and he's very well painted. Not that much hollowness, although even though some parts of it is hollow, like in the legs, um, it actually does hide it up. It, it, uh, it actually does hide it up very well. So, I actually highly recommend getting this figure if you do want to complete your Autobot Headmasters, Chrome Dome is a must have. Now his face, it isn't accurate to how he was in the um, in the G1 cartoon. That is actually more towards the um, the G1 toy or the uh, the uh, anime Transformers Headmasters. But if you do want that accurate head, you're gonna have to get the the Takara version. The only complaint that I can give to Chrome Dome here is um, about his Headmaster Stylor. I think Stylor could use a little bit more paint than just, you know, painting his torso brown. I think if you just if you just give him some parts like a little bit of silver and some painted eyes, it'll be a, a better looking Headmaster. But other than that, it, it, it is a really good figure out of this line. Alright, so that's all I can say about Chrome Dome here, so like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends, stay tuned for new stop motions, watch my different episodes of Transformers, War on Earth, and other stop motions, and also watch some of my previous reviews, stay tuned for more reviews like this, also check out my amazing Instagram at Eric underscore Tron, look at photos of this guy and other Transformers and other figures. And also, please subscribe to my little brother, Iron Kai. He does streaming and gaming videos. And that is all.
Peace. We are out of here.